Camelot 3 through 1 here, and I've I've been really scared for a long time, guys. <laughs> I've heard horror stories about Planet Fitness for years. For years. I've been going to a meathead gym, which is just it's just a normal gym where everybody's super nice and cool for like eight years now. And I've never tried Planet Fitness because I've always heard crazy things about it. You know, like there's pizza on your face and everybody's real big and they run on elliptical and they slap you with a gut. That's just, that's, I don't really know if that's true. It's just what I've heard. But, but, I've heard crazy things about Planet Fitness. And I decided, you know what? I'm out of town in this instance and... I'm going to go to this Planet Fitness because your boy got to lift a thing and put it back down before he go crazy as hell. So I decided to do it. And it ended very poorly. And I'm going to tell you the entire damn thing right now with your face. So be listening with your holes on your head side. Because that's very important, guys. And before we get into it, make sure you like the damn video. Make sure you subscribe to the damn channel that is what the video is on, which is the this one. Please. It's everything to me it determines whether i live or die so there i was guys there i was i was out of town and i was too far away from my beautiful gym that i love and feel safe in so i was like okay well there's planet fitness the signs purple and stuff i can do this all right i don't i'm not afraid ah I, I am a man i could do this all right so i pull up and i see the big purple ass sign and i'm like oh my god and I get out of my car, and I can already feel a feeling in the air. All right, something wasn't right. <laughs> I could smell something. I didn't know if it was the free pizza that's been sitting there for like two days. I didn't know if it was the guy on the elliptical giving it hell, <laughs> unbathed. I didn't know what it is, but I was going in. And I could already tell something was going to go wrong, but it's fine. So I walk in, all right, and immediately these people are staring me down like I'm a damn alien, all right? And I know I look goofy as hell but that shouldn't matter because it's a judgment free zone that's what it says on the wall right now okay i'm supposed to not be judged from a face area but apparently that's not the case but anyways i paid the day pass i paid actual currency to go to this goofy ass gym and uh, i went on my way i went to the locker room changed into my stuff went over to the free weights and started going ham so i was working out you know I noticed right away that there was no bench, which is my favorite thing. It's flat bench. I won't put the thing over my face because, to be honest, the small chance that I drop the bar and it kills me immediately because it hits me in the face, that's kind of exhilarating because I wouldn't have to pay my mortgage anymore. <laughs> but there was not one. There was also not a squat rack. I guess you don't need a damn squat rack in a place that's for fitness. You need pizza. All right. There's free pizza. Did I eat the pizza? No. Because it's like Little Caesars or some, some shit. I don't do that garbage. I order gourmet Italian stuff. Made by a real Italian guy, probably. Maybe. I'm not going to eat cardboard. And I'm not going to pay $5 for cardboard. You can get a cardboard box at Walmart for $2.99. That's half the price, baby. So I was there, and there was actually not a lot of people there. There was one other person in the vicinity of me by like 50 feet. And then there was a bunch of people on the ellipticals which is fine, and the, the treadmills. There was not a single attractive person. <laughs> That's a joke, all right? Look, if you go to Planet Fitness and you're sexy as hell, that was a joke. If you happen to go to Planet Fitness and you're not sexy as hell, it wasn't a joke. <laughs> so as I was doing free weights and, you know, doing some chest press stuff with some free weights, inclined if I do recall, I keep noticing this, this guy that's standing over behind the counter area just keeps glaring at me. He's glaring at me, all right? Now, I want to reiterate something to you. I've heard the horror stories. I was not dropping weights. I was not grunting. I don't grunt anyway, all right? Unless I'm about to I'm about to give it the old baby gravy launch. I'm not going to grunt, okay? That's weird anyway. Like in normal gyms, it's kind of weird. Unless you're like 500 pounds of pure muscle, then it's kind of badass because you're like, damn. <laughs> I want to inhale your grunt to get some of that testosterone that you got in your ass. But... But I wasn't grunting, okay? Dudes keep staring at me. He keeps staring right at my ass. And I'm like looking at him, and I just keep smiling because, you know, that's what I do when I awkwardly lock eyes with somebody. I awkwardly smile, okay? It's 
I feel like it's dangerous. It's got me into a lot of dangerous positions in my life. But I went on my way. All right, I went over to the Goofy Ass Smith machine, which is basically like a squat rack that's attached to things so it can't kill you immediately. So it kind of takes the, the whole excitement out of it. So about 20 minutes passes and this lady comes up to me that works at Planet Fitness. And she tells me that I'm not allowed to have uh, I'm not allowed to have a military military uh, footwear on. Okay, so these the, I, had, I had boots that I used to wear every single day, all right? And they look great. They're just great-ass boots, and I wore them for like a decade, and they never wore out. And then I got a new pair. That's how long I wore those things for, and I wore them everywhere. And they weren't offensive or anything, okay? They weren't crazy or anything. She was like, hey, you can't wear those in here. And I was like, you know what? It's fine. I had some tennis shoes in my bag, so I went and changed out and started doing some more stuff. Started doing some more stuff. All right. By this time, there's still nobody in there working in my vicinity, and there's like one person on the, the, the treadmill now. There's like one person walking on the treadmill. It's exhilarating. The place is booming at like 3 p.m. on a, a Monday, which if you've ever been to gyms, it should be booming around 3, 4, 5 p.m., but it's fine. Don't worry about it. So about this time, I lay down on the Smith machine uh, with a bench under it to do some, you know, flat bench stuff, kind of simulate the flat bench, and... I get up in between my sets and I notice that there's just that guy, the guy that was glaring at me that works at Planet Fitness barreling towards me with an angry ass look on his face. And I'm terrified <laughs> because I'm like, oh, my God, it's like it's like all the horror stories are culminating into one real life event. And it's my life. Things don't usually happen to me. So he gets up to me and he literally just says right away. Uh, yeah, you got to leave. And I was like. You know, kind of thought maybe he was joking. So I was like, uh, wh what? What do you mean? And he was like, you have to leave right now. And I was like, OK, I'm confused as hell. So I, w I just asked why. I was like, why? And he said, simply, you do not fit in here. That's it. That's what he said. He said, you do not fit in here. And you know what? To be honest, he's probably right. <laughs> Because I'm not eating the pizza, and I'm not walking on the damn treadmill slowly. Look, all right, I was not doing anything to anyone, not throwing a damn weight or nothing. And I still actually don't know what I did wrong. Like, think back to right now. No idea what I did wrong. I still don't know. I would like if Planet Fitness could reach out to me and be like, hey, this is what you did wrong. I changed my feet now. Granted, I did have a stringer on. A stringer is basically like a thinner tank top. That's all that is. I had one of those on, and I can guarantee you that that's not the problem, but it might have been the problem, all right, because I was real cut at this point, and I got I had muscles on top of muscles, man. When I was 27 years old, I was pretty put together. You know, my wife had left. I was in great shape. I was the clapping. I was the clapping, all right? <laughs> I was on tender, baby. I had to be in tip-top shape, all right? Nowadays, I don't care anymore. I'm old. Don't really want to clap nobody. Kind of over all that. My PP stopped working years ago, but this is about Planet Fitness. I don't know why they kicked me out, all right? And I'm trying to figure it out. I'm trying to figure it out. So I was looking online, and this is what I found. It says Planet Fitness equals no critics. I don't think that's true. <laughs> it says Planet Fitness, the gym for people who really don't want to get into shape. <laughs> well, damn. Owned by people who really can't afford for the members to be there. Well, that's a, a damn shame. It says a survey of over 20 different Planet Fitness locations in 12 different states revealed that they provide no nutritional guidance. They do, however, supply candy and pizza, which is pretty kick-ass if you that guy on the damn treadmill. Planet Fitness seems to promise that health and fitness will ultimately be comfortable and not involve any real effort. Well, that's pretty great. <laughs> Planet Fitness is a big purple-colored adult daycare marketed to people afraid to go to an actual gym. <laughs> Damn, this is brutal as hell. Many Planet Fitness members do want to make progress, of course, but the gym's own rules and operating guidelines seem to dissuade this. We're not a gym, obviously. So, look, I, I, I guarantee you there's probably decent Planet Fitnesses out there with people that are getting into shape. Well, this guy's going ham on their asses, though. He going ham on their asses, though. <laughs> no effort allowed. Consider the famous no grunting rule. What's a grunt exactly? That's the things in Halo that you can just put damn bullets into. That's my favorite thing. Look at the candy. It looks delicious. Hot diggity damn, son. Get some of that free pizza. No jeans, no do-rags, uh, skull caps, bandanas, boots, or sandals. Doesn't say anything about a damn stringer. I think I got robbed. I think I got robbed. Look, 
I'm going to be honest right, right now. No jokes aside. Planet Fitness is easily the most uncomfortable experience I've ever had in a gym in my life. For one, it felt like uh, that weird phenomena where you find yourself in the back rooms of reality and it's just called the back rooms. It's like when you slip out of reality and it's just long hallways and shit. That's what it's kind of like. There's nobody in there. It's really creepy. The workers are assholes. A- assholes. And I'm, I know I'm only giving one experience, but that means it happens 100% of the time. <laughs> Based on my statistics, <laughs> pretty awful. I was, it was uncomfortable, and I got thrown out for no damn reason that I can really fathom. Other than I'm just too damn sexy. <laughs> That's what it was. I'm sticking to it. That makes me feel good about myself. Have you ever been to a Planet Fitness? Look, I, this video didn't really wasn't about nothing, but I kind of want to talk about it because I don't like Planet Fitness. Um, tell me what happened to you. Did you get? Did you grunt too loudly? All right. Did you speak up to the elites? No. No. Did you eat too much of the free pizza? Did you eat not enough of the free pizza? Did you eat the macadamia nut cookies? I don't damn know. Don't go to Planet Fitness, man. If you are looking to actually get into shape and actually uh, join a place that has camaraderie, join a place that people working out there will actually push you to become a better person overall, go to a real gym. Uh, a lot of people are f- afraid that everyone's going to be looking at them. I've heard so many people tell me, well, everyone's going to be staring at me if they're slightly overweight or underweight, or maybe they don't know, you know, really how to work out. Google's a great tool for that, to be honest. Um, I'll tell you right now, no one's looking at you. No one gives a damn. I feel like that's rooted in some weird narcissism that people that are growing up from the 90s and on have. No one cares. All right. When I see somebody that's overweight at the gym, half the time I don't even acknowledge it, like in my brain juice. But if I ever do, I'm like, oh, dude, good for that guy. He's getting on the ball. And I know everybody generally thinks that way. No one's making fun of those people. All right. No. And I'm sure there's isolated incidents, of course. But let's be honest. It doesn't actually happen. We're all adults here. The only people we make fun of are really skinny guys that can't lift more than 10 pounds on bench. That's the guys we make fun of. <laughs> So get on it, doggone it, guys. Hell yeah. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you enjoy this video. If you want more of these types of videos, I don't even know what this type of video is called. Don't go to Plant Fitness Trash Bag of a Place. And uh, also, make sure you do me a big-ass favor. Make sure you get the hell on it. Doggone it. Bye. Yeah. Saying, my boy.